idiot! You idiot! You're an idiot! If you've watched the other video, which you definitely should do first, then you'll know this project is kind of my life's work, corny as that sounds. 18-year-old me talking to me now. I've been avoiding doing it for almost 40 years. My life just never felt interesting enough to want to talk about it to my younger self. It still doesn't. Well, I have high hopes for you. There's no way I could possibly have lived up to your goals. So why am I doing this now? Truth is, I had a health scare recently. I, I'm fine, it was a false alarm, but it shook me up, it made me realize, like, my father died when he was nine years older than I am now. So it dawned on me, if I wait till my life is perfect enough to want to talk to my young self about it, I might never be ready. And it's not about being ready. It's about doing it. So let's do it. Plus, I have all these friends now behind the camera in the business who can help me make this thing happen. And with your help, I'll make something that's kind of like my dinner with Andre, but with a touch of Birdman, in that it'll have some backstage stuff happening. Me freaking out beforehand in the dressing room, putting on Spanx and a toupee, my friends talking me into it, uh, me storming out in the middle of the interview, my wife coming in and taking over for me, talking to my teenage self. How weird is that for both of them? It's just so cool. I'm gonna go off what I was planning on saying for a second and just say, isn't it cool? How do you think I, uh, I look? You're adorable. I mean, really, help me make this cool thing. Help me make this thing that I don't think has ever been done before. And it's not just going to be like a gimmick. It's going to have real heart to it. Underneath it all, it's about me confronting my own unrealistic expectations and eventually coming, coming to terms with my teenage self. We might even end up hugging. You want a hug? Can we do that? You want a hug? We're fist fighting. And it's not just my story. It's all our stories. How many of us have really fully lived up to our teenage dreams, no matter how successful we are now. I hope you'll help me face and honor that 18-year-old still inside you, that kid who is never, ever, ever satisfied, yet still walks with you on whatever path you take, maybe loving you, that confused, optimistic, sweet kid, full of hope and fear. You're gonna be okay. Look, you survived. A life's work. It'll be my life up on the screen, but yours too. Thanks for your time. And thanks for anything you care to give. I really, really sincerely appreciate it. See you on the big screen. You're okay. <laughs> Thank you for saying that.